Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, shared a message to tell everyone who would listen about the wonderful things God had done for him. One night, Nebuchadnezzar had a frightening dream. He called for all the wise men in Babylon to explain what the dream meant, but they did not understand the dream. Finally, Nebuchadnezzar told Daniel about the dream. I saw a big, strong tree. Its top was in the sky and everyone could see it. The tree had beautiful leaves and fruit and animals lived in and around the tree. An angel came down from heaven and said, cut down the tree, take off its leaves and fruit. Let the animals hurry away. The angel said only the stump and roots would be left in the ground. Then the angel said, the tree's mind would change from a human's mind into an animal's mind. He said this would happen so the people would know God is ruler over human kingdoms. The dream frightened Daniel too, and he told King Nebuchadnezzar what it meant. The tree is you, Daniel explained. You are great and strong and your greatness reaches the sky. Then Daniel said, like the tree was cut down, you will be driven away from people. Instead, you will live with wild animals and eat grass. Like the stump was left in the ground, your kingdom will not be completely destroyed. It will be restored when you acknowledge that God rules over everything. A year later, the king's dream came true. He walked on the roof of his palace and said, Babylon is great. I built this kingdom with my power and for my glory. Suddenly, the king heard a voice from heaven. King Nebuchadnezzar, you will be driven away from people. You will live with wild animals and eat grass until you acknowledge that God rules over everything. <coughs> Nebuchadnezzar was driven away from people. He ate grass like cattle. His hair grew like eagle's feathers and his nails grew like bird's claws. After some time, Nebuchadnezzar looked up to heaven and praised God. He acknowledged that God rules everything. His kingdom was restored to him, and Nebuchadnezzar gave glory to God. Pride steals God's glory. God humbled King Nebuchadnezzar so he could see that God alone deserves glory. Jesus is the King of Kings who humbled himself by coming to earth and dying on the cross. Jesus saves sinners so we can live for God's glory.